Want to know how to make huge Skrillex style EDM risers? Then stay tuned. A riser is a great example of one part of a dance track with common elements that you'll often find yourself repeating over and over and getting bogged down with fiddly automation unless you have these sorts of presets to call on. First up though, what is a riser? You probably know the answer to this already, but if not, then it's that bit just before a massive drop that whips up the dance floor into an unbearable frenzy before all hell breaks loose. Some people make them with samples, like filtered noise sweeps, or accelerating kick or snare rolls, or drone pitch shifts. Whilst this is a perfectly acceptable way of going about it, what I'm about to show you is a more unique and customizable approach, which allows you to build up a library of instant riser presets that work on the existing audio material in your track using the power of the tools in the Devious Machines range. To demonstrate how effective this is, I'll show two different approaches. One that turns a sustained or held note of any kind into an instant cool riser. And then a more percussive one that takes a single one shot at the start of every bar and turns it into a complex riser as well. Any beginners who are watching this and wondering what the hell I'm doing, by the way, then don't worry because you can just grab the plugs and then presets I've made to achieve the same results without really knowing what's going on. Starting off with the sustained note then, and it doesn't matter what instrument that you use for this, so I'm grabbing Drift as it's a newer one in live. And then we'll have a sustained note that lasts for four bars. Then I'll add Infiltrator to the track. And the main thing here is to have a curve that lasts for four or eight bars and rises up in a linear or exponential way, depending on what you're going for. And you want that curve acting on the main dial in a unidirectional way, and normally across most, if not all, of the range. The default effect here is just a low pass filter, so all we're getting right now is the upper frequencies in the sound being reintroduced across the four bars, as you can see on the display. But if we change the effect in slot one to something else, like pitch, or frequency shifter, or FM is pretty fun too, then you can hear the wide range of different sorts of pitch sweeps that we can make. The key to risers though is to have a lot of different effects one after the other, which you can do in Infiltrator here thanks to the 10 effects slots. So I could copy this first effect over to slot 2 now and then change it to reverb to have a reverberant space that gets larger across the four bars as the time increases. And if I wanted the reverb amount to also increase, then I can just have the mix amount going up as well by setting the second modulator dial to mix and then envelope two, pasting the curve from envelope one across and then setting the range accordingly. So now we get the sound backing off into an increasingly large space as the riser develops. It's these kinds of techniques that I've used to create my first riser preset for sustained sounds with this sort of pitch and frequency shifting and modulating going on. So you can just load that up and then tweak the macros to create any kind of classic riser that you want. As a bonus here, I absolutely recommend also using Texture during this process, another Devious Machines plugin, which massively expands the range of sounds you can make with risers and also throughout your production in general. For instance, having it just after Drift in my effects chain then allows me to use the sound coming out of Drift to play any of the extensive array of sounds in the library, which I can make 100% wet to forget about Drift entirely and only play the sound from Texture. So classic noise sweeps, more melodic stuff, and random foley are all on offer here, which is awesome. I should say that Texture does actually have its own modulation section, where you can set the curve to sawtooth and four bars, and then use it to modulate pitch. So it's perfect for quickly creating simple but great sounding risers on its own too. In combination with Infiltrator though, the possibilities become endless, with so many more effects and customizability options on offer. To show you the other, more percussive riser now, I've got this drum hit. 
which I'll copy to the beginning of every bar in this four bar section of the arrangement. Then turning on Infiltrator, I can use the loop effect to make it hit on every beat by setting the tempo of the effect to one bar and the speed to a quarter note. But then use the curve to adjust the speed across the four bars so it jumps up to eighth notes in the third bar and sixteenths in the last bar. And I could also have it sweep up at the end to make it even more interesting. So that's the basis of this next preset then for drum roll type risers. But I've added a ton more effects on top like distortion, phaser, notch and comb filtering as well as low and high pass filters too. And finally a slap delay on the end. And I particularly like the filthy overdrive compression you can add in the master effects section to massively beef the whole thing up. Hopefully you're getting a good feeling for how amazing a tool Infiltrator is at creating these sorts of risers and are getting properly inspired to have a play yourself. Don't forget that you can just grab the presets I've been making using the link in the description to add them to your library and dial up some instant risers right away. That's it for this session. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more production tips and tricks like this in the future. And if you have any requests for topics that you'd like us to cover along these sorts of lines, then do let us know. See you next time.